Sadly, neither your teachers nor your parents taught you how emotions work or how to control them. I find it ironic that just about anything comes with a how-to manual while your mind doesn't. You've never received an instruction manual to teach you how your mind works and how to use it to better manage your emotions, have you? I haven't. In fact, until now, I doubt one even existed. What you'll learn in this book. This book is the how-to manual your parents should have given you at birth. It's the instruction manual you should have received at school. In it, I'll share everything you need to know about emotions so you can overcome your fears and limitations and become the type of person you really want to be. You'll learn what emotions are, how they're formed, and how you can use them for your personal growth. You'll also learn how to deal with negative emotions and condition your mind to create more positive emotions. It is my sincere hope and expectation that by the end of this book, you will have a clear understanding of what emotions are and will have all the tools you need to start taking control of them. More specifically, this book will help you understand what emotions are and how they impact your life. Identify negative emotions that control your life and learn to overcome them. Change your story to take better control over your life and create a more compelling future. And reprogram your mind to experience more positive emotions. Here is a more detailed summary of what you'll learn in this book. In part one, we'll discuss what emotions are. You'll learn why you're wired to focus on negativity and what you can do to counter this effect. You'll also discover how your beliefs impinge upon your emotions. Finally, you'll learn how negative emotions work and why they're so tricky. In part two, we'll go over the things that directly impact your emotions. You'll understand the roles your body, your thoughts, your words, or your sleep play in your life and how you can use them to change your emotions. In part three, you'll learn how emotions are formed. You'll also learn how to condition your mind to experience more positive emotions. And finally, in part four, we'll discuss how to use your emotions as a tool for personal growth. You'll learn why you experience emotions such as fear or depression and how they work. You'll then discover how to use them to grow. Let's get started.